This little dark line is actually caused by a dental crown, but not just any dental crown. This is caused by a very specific dental crown that we actually don't even use anymore. Back in the day, we used to use PFM crowns. Now a PFM crown is a porcelain fused to metal crown. It has metal in the inside and on the outside, it's got porcelain that's baked over the top of it. Back in the day, we had gold crowns and then we had these crowns that they just revolutionized how things were done because now we had the strength of the metal along with the look of the porcelain that made the crown actually look really nice. Now, a PFM crown looks like this. There is a metal part. Here is the outside, the porcelain side. The design was intended to keep the hardy metal part on the inside and hidden so you can't see it. The problem with these crowns is that they create a little shadow on the outside of your tooth that looks like a little black line. It looks like either a cavity or a gap, maybe a really dark shadow. It is really a contrasting difference between that and your light colored tooth. It definitely sticks out on your tooth because you have a light colored tooth and you have this dark line and it just drives people crazy. Now, some people don't even see this for a number of years because it's hidden underneath the gums. When I used to do these crowns in my own office, I would actually do these crowns and tuck them so far underneath the gums that you could never see them. Patients were never even aware that they were there. I knew they were there, but patients had no idea because they were underneath the gums. Fast forward many years later, let's say 10, 20 years later, your gums are just going to recede over time. And then what happens with those is that even though that margin of that crown, that little dark line is underneath your gums, now that your gums are receding, you're gonna see a little bit of that black line. Now you have a little dark line on your crown and you're wondering what the heck is this? And how do I get rid of this? This thing is hideous. It's ugly, I don't like it. And I get this from patients all the time. This happens on bridges, it happens on crowns, single unit crowns. You can have this happen on anything that has actually had metal in there. Now the good news is that these crowns were really popular in the past, but we no longer do those. We have full zirconia crowns now, we have Emacs crowns. We have crowns that are actually just made out of a block of glass, which is a zirconia or an Emacs crown. Those are the tooth color crowns, there's no metal in them, so this actually can't happen in the future because if your gums recede in the future and you have these newer crowns, you're not gonna be able to see that dark line because there's no metal in there. There's no shadow to cast underneath there. Now what's more important about learning what, a, now what is more important than learning why does this happen is what can you do about this? Certainly if this is on your front tooth, this is gonna drive you nuts. You're gonna be looking at it every single day. So what can you do about it? So I'm a general dentist. I've dealt with this for many, many years. You can try to fix this a couple different ways. Of course, you can't whiten your crown because crowns don't whiten. A lot of people don't know that. You can't just do a whitening or bleaching system or at home bleaching system and it work. It won't work if you whiten your teeth. I've tried to fix this with doing fillings on people's teeth. And what I'll do is I'll actually take a filling, I'll drill that area underneath the crown and I'll put the brightest color filling, and I mean like paperweight, the brightest of the bright colored filling in there. But then what ends up happening is, yes, you don't have a dark line there anymore, but now you just kind of have a semi-lunar shape that is kind of dark and gray, and it's no longer black, but it's just still gray and smudgy. It just doesn't look the same as getting another crown, which is honestly, fortunately, the only way that you can actually fix this is to actually get an upgraded crown. But that crown is likely 20 years old anyway, so getting an upgraded crown which by the way is almost way, way, way stronger than that old PFM crown. You don't have that black line. There's no metal in there and we're gonna tuck it underneath your gum. You could electively actually just replace that by doing one of these more modern crowns. The tooth color crowns that we have now are super strong. They last almost forever. You can almost never break them and they're tooth colored. They don't have that little dark line underneath there. So that's a very, very good option. And in my opinion, not a bad option. If you wanna replace a crown, especially if it's your very front teeth, you can actually swap out this crown and get a new tooth colored crown and then everything looks really, really good. So unfortunately, no, there is no way that you can actually just fix this with a filling or with whitening or any sort of gel. There is no way to fix this other than just replacing your crown. Now, if you have like excessive recession on your gums, you can actually do a gum surgery to pull those down, but that gum is not gonna go past the margin of your crown, meaning that it can make your gum look a little bit better and your roots look better, but it is not going to completely cover that crown entirely. So doing that won't actually be super successful. That would probably be a waste of your money if you wanna fix the black line. Just simply fix the crown, get a new crown that's tooth colored that has no metal in it, and you're going to completely revitalize that tooth. Another benefit that I wasn't aware of is actually the material's thinner. So your gums are actually gonna be better, right? Your gums actually want space. They love skinny crowns. They don't like the old PFM crowns that are really bulky because there's two materials in there. You have the metal, and you have the porcelain. And those two together are actually pretty thick. I've removed hundreds of crowns from a dentist that used to place these that had really, really thick, wide, just bulky PFM crowns. 
And every time I replaced it, there was a red ring around there that was just really irritated. Those gums were super irritated. And no matter what the patient did, their gums were always bleeding. So sometimes by replacing a crown for cosmetic reasons, you're actually replacing that crown for a functional reason. And that has helped out a lot of my patients by getting a stronger crown, a skinnier crown that the gums actually like better. It's actually easier to floss in there. And I always like these situations where you have a crown that has a black line on it that's aesthetically unpleasing, but the insurance company is not going to accept your claim because there's not something wrong with it other than just an aesthetic flaw. You saying, I don't like the way this looks is not a justifiable reason for the insurance to cover your crown. What I like to do as a dentist is if you find another reason combined with that reason of that tooth having that little black line in it, then bam, you can replace that crown and you actually get the best of both worlds. You're getting two birds with one stone. I know that's an old outdated saying, but you're basically getting the benefit of two things by replacing one crown. And you're getting a stronger crown, which is three, and you're probably closing that gap that your old crown had because your teeth have shifted a little bit and now you're getting meat stuck in there. That's the fourth and maybe fifth reason for replacing your crown. So I always look for reasons that have multiple benefits rather than just replacing something just strictly for cosmetic reasons. Now, I will say if it is your front tooth, I don't blame you, just replace that sucker. I've done that a lot in my practice where they've had this little black line on the crown and we just go ahead and we preemptively replace it. Even though there's no functional reason, the porcelain's not cracked or broken, the interface is intact, everything, it just looks like a new crown, but it has that black line because our gums have now receded to the point where it just kind of looks kind of ugly. So the patient wants to electively do that and I'm happy, I'll do that all day long. I'm very happy to do, I'm very happy to do that as a dentist, but if it's your back teeth, you're not gonna see it, other people aren't gonna see it, it's just gonna kinda of drive you crazy. So maybe wait until you can justify replacing it for a functional reason, then you actually have to pay less and it becomes less of an expense, so it's not elective anymore, it's actually functional. Or you might just wear through, this happens all the time, those old PFM crowns will actually wear through the crown because you'll have porcelain that will wear through and you'll get a little metal part on the top of the crown. And in that fact, the porcelain has actually broken its crack. That is a reason to replace it, along with that little black line that you're gonna get rid of as a bonus. So I wouldn't recommend on back teeth to replace a crown just because it has a black line. The black line actually doesn't do anything. It doesn't hurt you. It doesn't cause cavity. It is not a gap. Your dentist should be able to tell whether there is a cavity starting there or not. Generally, they don't really do anything functionally. They just look really bad aesthetically. But I'm very enthusiastic about this topic because I love teaching people about their teeth. I love teaching people how to save money. I don't just love helping my own patient and my own patient base and my own practice. I love helping people on social media. Maybe someday I'll have these videos hopefully in different languages so people can learn about these black lines in Espanol and Deutsch and Sprechen die und Deutsch uh, small. I speak a little bit of German, a little bit of Spanish. So hopefully someday these can be in other languages. And now I guess we have AI that can actually just translate that for me so I don't have to speak my broken Spanglish to you. <laughs> you can actually hear this in another language. So that gets a little bit off track. Hopefully you learned a lot. Subscribe to my channel, please. Just hit this button so I can teach other people in those other languages that I just mentioned. Shoot, you get this fixed in your own tooth. Let me, shoot, you got this fixed on your own tooth and you get a good experience, let me know. Let me know if you got insurance to pay for this. That's something I would like to know. Did you get this black line replaced and your dentist somehow was able to justify this with the insurance? That's something I would love to learn to know. Which insurance companies would actually pay for this because I think they should pay for it. They don't in my experience, but leave a comment below if that's you. And again, thanks for watching.